Hey, problem solvers, Colfax Math here. I'm out on a construction site where we've logged it, and then we're gonna take these logs and mill them. And today we're gonna to use our Pittsburgh moisture meter to figure out the moisture content in these logs. This channel is a practical math channel, so we're gonna talk about percentages today and specifically moisture percentages. So this is a really cool tool here. It has a protective cap over the top. It has two pins right there and turn it on. It has a few different settings. That little setting there, I see the tree in there. That's for checking moisture content in wood. You're gonna push those pins in. And it's 7%. I don't know if you saw that, but it went up to 7%. Center of the log is about 8%. So that's the moisture content in this wood at that point. You'll see as we mill it out, those percentages are gonna go way up. It dries about an inch on radius per year. So from here, it's drying in this way, from the outside, it's drying in, but the center of the tree is gonna be soaking wet still. So let's go check it on some uh, milled lumber and see how it works too. Brought these logs over to a friend's house. He has a swing blade lumber mill. So this is us milling the lumber out into dimensional lumber. And now that as you're getting into it, you can see how wet the center of the log's gonna be. So this is a cool way to mill your own lumber to build stuff, but keeping track of the moisture content in the wood is key to building. The end of these logs got cut um, recently and you can see now they're back up to 26% moisture, 32%. Uh, and, and the reason is, you know, it dries an inch per per year, so it's drying in, but as soon as you make a cut, you're on the inside of the wood. Here's some of that lumber we just milled. You can see that there. Oh, only 8%. That must have been an end that wasn't really cut, maybe 10%. So it's drying off that tip. Here's another bore, 31%. Again, the trees were cut you know, six months ago. They're drying their, on their way in, but when you mill them, you get down into the, the center of the tree. That one's 35%. See, can you see that there? Maybe 25%. A couple days later, it's been hot and dry, 95 degree days. Wood looks good, not really twisting at all. Some cracks. Um, let's check the moisture content. There's our moisture meter right here. I don't know, can you see it there? There's a few different settings on there. That's a tree for checking lumber. Check the end here. Oh, that end's already dried out, even with a hard push. Try the center of a board here. Yeah, 14%, it's really dropping quick. Oh, there we go, down in the stack, 32%. Deep down in the stack, 30%. Okay, calculating moisture content, there's actually two ways to do it. One way is a wet basis, and the other way is a dry basis. And if you're not comparing apples to apples, they're really gonna give you very different results. So the wet basis is the total amount of water in the sample divided by the total weight, and this will always be between zero and 100%, versus a dry basis method, it's the amount, or in, amount of water in the sample divided by the dry weight. So let me just kind of explain I'll give you an example. So let's say I have a log and I cut that log down and it weighs 50 pounds and it's completely wet. I dry it in the oven and it ends at 30 pounds. So that means I have removed 20 pounds of water, 30 pounds of wood fiber. So in the wet basis, the amount of water would be 20 pounds over the total weight of 50, 20 divided by 50, it's 0.4 or 40% moisture content. However, with the dry basis, the amount of water, again, would be 20 pounds of water, divided by the dry weight of 30 pounds, two thirds is 0.67 or 67% moisture content. So it's really important to say whether it's a wet basis or a dry basis, and that you're always comparing apples to apples, not apples to oranges. You know, with the dry basis here, you could potentially have more than 100% moisture content. 
So that's how you calculate moisture content. I hope you found this video interesting and informative. Uh, please comment below if you have any experience working with moisture content, either in construction or woodworking or timber felling, and uh, tell us how you've used moisture meters. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing. This channel is a practical math channel.